Hello dear friends, in this video I'll be showing you how to easily remove and replace a flywheel oil seal. This trick you're about to see works on a variety of brands, starting with Mini, BMW, Mercedes, Volkswagen, Opel and so on. Of course we'll have to assume that you've already done all the heavy work involved reaching the main oil seal, the one behind the flywheel. First we have to remove the old one, and this is how you do it. This is the trick explained in the Heinz manual, by the way. We are going to take a power drill with a 2 or 3 mm drill bit and drill in the outer rim of the old oil seal. Don't worry, the outer rim uh, has uh, a sheet metal uh, insert covered by rubber and it's actually quite strong and resilient. Just to be safe, uh, it's best to drill two holes, one across the other, like so. Into the holes we've just made we're gonna thread wood screws. We'll see how in the next scene. As you can see I'm using Phillips head screws and it is advisable not to use self-drilling screws. I'm gonna turn them four to five times into the seal. Now that we have our screws installed, it's time to pull on them. Sometimes you have to do alternate pulls, sometimes it's only enough to pull on uh, one screw and the flywheel seal is out. Here I'm using a pair of pliers with a very big screwdriver beneath them as leverage. That was quick, let's see that again. Now that we got our old sealed out, it's time to install the new one. Let's see what it implies. Ideally you would be able to take your new seal and push it in place of the old one. However the diameter of the crankshaft is uh, slightly bigger than the, opening, uh, the inner opening of the seal and you risk uh, ruining the lip of the seal and you don't want that with your new part. The first thing that's gonna help us install the main seal is taking some grease and lubricate the space between the crankshaft and the housing of the flywheel seal. Don't be afraid to get messy, it really helps. Now we're gonna do something that's gonna help us push the new seal into its position. What you need to do is take a plastic bottle and cut a rectangular piece of plastic, one that doesn't have any ridges or ribs or anything. Once that we have our plain piece of plastic, we lubricate it with some WD-40. Back on the engine, we take our piece of plastic and use it as a guide sleeve for our new seal. The flexible piece of plastic will help us fit the inner lip of the seal over the crankshaft without damaging the rubber. It's simple, you have just to push it in. We finish the installation by gently tapping the seal in its final position using a metal mandrel or punch. Remember, tap gently.
The last thing to do is to remove the plastic sleeve and our oil seal is installed. Thank you for watching this short video. I hope you enjoyed it. Until next time, I wish you all the best.